Hello learners, uh, I am from University of Calcutta, myself Sudeshna Lahiri and I am Associate Professor over uh, Department of Education, University of Calcutta. Today we are going to discuss about perception and its development in children. And uh, perception, let us talk about perception first. Perception is process of recognizing and interpreting sensory stimuli. And perception is our recognition and interpretation of sensory information, how we respond to the information, sensory. And then perception is the process of interpretation of stimuli. Perception is a process of interpretation of a present stimulus on the basis of past experience, a synthetic process where different physiological and psychological processes are involved. Perception it develops through information that is gathered from the senses which allows children to make sense of their environment. Perception includes all those processes by which an individual receives information about his environment like seeing, hearing, feeling, testing and smelling. Perception is the process whereby stimuli are received and interpreted by the individual and translated into a response and that is by, uh, given by Engel 1968. Now what is perception and its nature? So perception, if we talk about perception then the entire process by which an individual becomes aware of his environment and interprets it so that it will fit into his own frame of reference. Again when we talk about perception and its nature, it is the process of becoming aware of situation of adding meaningful associations to sensation. Perception is defined as the process of receiving, selecting, organizing, interpreting, checking and rearing to sensory stimuli or data. Again when we talk about perception and its nature, the perceptual, perceptual process or perceptional process shows that their functioning is affected by three classes of variables. The objects or event being perceived, the environment in which perception occurs and the individual during the perceiving. Now what are the perceptual processes? Perceptual processes involves three elements that are selection, organization, interpretation. Process of perception is about inputs, process, outputs, behavior. So uh, we will discuss one by one about all the processes. Um, inputs Inputs are the perceived inputs are the stimuli such as information, events, objects, etc. that are received by the perceivers. Again, the process, the receiver stimuli that is inputs are processed through the selection, organization and interpretation. Outputs, the output is obtained through the processing mechanism. These outputs may be in the form of feelings, emotions, attitude, love, hatred, action, etc. Behavior, the perceived outputs, repeat, <clears throat> behavior, the perceived outputs are reflected in terms of behavior of an individual. The perceiver's behavior in turn generate responses from the perceived and these again give rise to a new set of inputs. Thereby, the outputs become inputs and the process continues. Now there are theories of perception, for example, gestalt theory. So gestalt contends that a whole object cannot be predicted simply by adding up or perceptions of the part. Principles of gestalt theory. 
they are figure and ground. It is a distinction of a central objects from the surroundings. For example, the ability of an individual to distinguish an object from its general background, which is basic to form perception. Grouping, when several objects are present in the visual field, we tend to perceive them as organized into patterns or grouping according to proximity, similarity, and continuity. Proximity, the principle of proximity also referred to as the principle of nearness suggests that the objects which are nearer to each other are grouped together. Similarity, the principle of similarity of familiarity clarifies that the greater the similarity of the stimuli, the greater is the possibility of being perceived as a common group or whole. Continuity, the principle of continuity states that one will tend to perceive continuous lines of patterns because an individual sees only obvious lines and fails to have some creative thinking. Now, theories of perception also involves Gibson theory of perceptual repeat. Theories of perception involves Gibson theory of perceptual development. Gibson's theory is considered as a differentiation view of development. So it involves the senses are all unified at birth and that perceptual development is characterized as a gradual process of differentiating increasingly finer levels of sensory stimulation. Infants detect many general features of unified multimodal events from birth and gradually learn to perceive increasingly more subtle differences and more complex objects and events through their senses and interacting with their surroundings and environment. Gibson theory of perceptual development also includes some more elements. And for example, if we go through uh, zero age to further uh, up from infant to uh, early childhood, we will find several other elements within each stage of perceptual development. For example, perception of a newborn having zero age. A newborn does not have perception. A newborn able to develop perceptions on the world through many different aspects of experience and maturation through life. Right after taking birth is the most sensitive periods of development in the human. Then infant perception development. So an uh, infant, an infant is born with brain cells and that can connections and grow. Infants can respond to environment stimuli to a degree after birth. Depth perception is developed at around six months. Perceptual and cognitive development help the child to develop their senses and perceptions on the world. So these all come under the development during, in, during infant. Then uh, the next stage is sensory development. When a child uses their senses to discover a new object, the more that their senses are stimulated and neural pathways are strengthened. Experience and maturation. Maturation is a developmental process which is internally programmed. The orderly and sequential developmental changes which occur in the nervous system and other bodily structures controlled by our genes. A lot of our developmental stages are affected and can only happen with maturation. So maturity and experiences have very a great role in perceptual development of a child. So when we talk about the elements and description uh, given by Gibson theory of perceptual development, uh, we are having some key points. For example, perception, perceptual development, the role of individual perception, affordance and differentiation. So we will discuss one by one. For example, perception. The infant uses the information to guide its action. 
perceptual development, a process that involves continuous modification and refinement of perceptual ab abilities through experience with incoming sensory information. The role of individual in perception and that is active explorer in the world. Affordances, they are the perceived and actual properties of something in the environment that suggest how it should be used. Differentiation, this is the ability to selectively perceive differences between things in the environment. Now, what are the Piaget's developmental theory of perception? Perception is developmental in nature, which is to say that it changes significantly with age through the interaction of maturation and experience. That was also given by Gibson theory of perceptual process. So it has also different stages with age. For example, sensory motor stage. And that stage includes simple reflexes. So one from one to four months of age, infants begin to coordinate information from their senses. Infants intentionally repeat actions that occur automatically as reflexes. The next stage is within sensory motor stage and which is called secondary circular reactions. This substage is from four to eight months of age. At this age, infants develop from coordination between vision and movement. Next stage is within sensory motor stage again, and that is coordination of secondary circular reactions. And it says that from eight to 12 months of age, babies develop object performance, that means they understand that objects still exist when they are out of sight. Sensory stage also includes tertiary circular reactions and it is from 12 to 8 months of age and it says that toddlers begin to experiment with new behaviors. They intentionally vary their actions to get interesting results. Sensory motor stage is having one more stage that is called mentally combination or mental combinations. And that comes from 18 to 24 months of age. Children develop symbolic thought. They can mentally represent events in their minds, allowing them to anticipate and perceive the consequences of certain actions. The next stage is pre-operational stage. Between two and seven years of age, mental representations improve and objects do not have to present for children to think about them. Now factors of perception and the factors of perceptions are grouped into two, objective factors and subjective factors. So objective factors are those where uh, objectivity is in high content and they are having least influence of other external things. So they may be intensity, size, distinct and striking, movement, novelty, duration, reputation, abrupt change. Subjective factors and sometimes the perception is determined not only by the physical characteristics of stimuli, but by the characteristics of perceivers itself. So these are motives or needs, interest and values, past experience, age, preparatory set, social and cultural factors. Types of perception, there are different types of perception. Uh, form perception, size perception, depth perception and perception of movement, time perception. So we will uh, learn one by one. So types of perception, for example, form perception. Form perception is a cognitive task. Most of us perform quickly and easily and thus take for granted. Size perception, the sensory interpretation of the dimension of objects. Depth perception, it is the ability of a person to perceive 
the distance is known as depth perception. Depth perception is possible due to certain cues. Then perception of movement uh, that includes when a, a particular object appears in different places at different times. We understand that the object is in movement. For example, if we are moving, if the object is, if, is moving, or if both are moving. Such an ability to perceive movement is gained from uh, birth itself as a natural process, time perception. It is an invisible and fleeting. However, it is an important type of perception. The time of the two stimuli in stroboscopic movement studies must be equally precise. The phenomenon is lost if the interval between the two stimuli is too long or too short. So today we have learned about the perception. Uh, so let's recap one more time what we have studied so far. So what is perception and what are the elements in perception? So we should remember that uh, one is perceiver and one is the object which is being perceived. And the third angle is that which are the factors which are influencing and determining what is being perceived and what is the perception. So uh, we will also talk uh, about the nature. So this is the nature of the perception because experience, maturation that very much important when we perceive the things and also the environment under which or uh, in the influence of which we see the object and perceive the object. So one should understand that not only seeing is important, how we give insight to the object or event or place or individual. This is perception. And like any other psychodynamic abstracts and concepts, perception is also having its nature, type, factor which can influence and also theories given by different uh, psychologists. For example, in perception, we have three main theories uh, that is by, given by Gibson, Gestalt, and Piaget. And interesting thing is that the Gibson and Piaget both talked about the developmental uh, process of perception with age. And uh, uh, in Piaget, because the first stage of Piaget is sensory motor, stage and we have seen that it has also different levels of developmental processes of perception. So it is not that zero to two years, which is the sensory motor stage, is a general few elements, but there are different level of stage which uh, is cropping from zero age to up to uh, 24 months or two years. And there are types of uh, perception and also depending upon how we are perceiving, uh, it is uh, categorized into two factors which are uh, the subjective and objective. So subjectivity is uh, the person who is perceiving the things also determines how the things have been perceived and the perception. So it creates the subjectivity within the perception and objectivity is the less subjective and more objective when we perceive the things and the perception. Uh, so these are few things uh, we have discussed today and we should understand that there are different types of perception uh, which may be form perception, depth perception and uh, uh, size perception, perception of movement and time perception. So when we talk about form perception, it also talks about the uh, cognitive task um, which can perform very quickly and easily and then forms the perception. Similarly, when we talk about the perception, so it uh, quickly determines the dimension of the object. For example, it may be um, the length, breadth or the height of the object. 
how we perceive it. Then depth perception, when we talk about the depth perception, it depends upon the distance uh, where the object is lying or a person is there. Um, and it depends upon the uh, some visual perception it may be or some metrics. And then perception of movement, it is very interesting like uh, if we are moving and perceiving a still object or uh, the object is moving and we are still or both of us are moving and how in these three conditions and uh, in three uh, different stages, how we perceive the things, whether the uh, perceived thing is also moving with us or it is seems to be or it perceived as to be moved. And uh, uh, time perception, it is how we see the time and we know that it is one more dimension. Uh, so uh, thus we, uh, we, we studied, to, uh, today we studied how the perception is perceived. So, um, the next time we will meet again with a new topic, till then, 